Hi everybody, this video is to show you how to make a digital version of your book or your read aloud for your students to see. So the first thing I did was I went and took photographs of each page of my book and then I uploaded those photographs here into WeVideo. I also used my Google Chrome extension. Let me find it up here. And it is this one right here. It is uh, an audio recorder. So I used that to record myself reading the pages of each or each of the pages in the book. Okay, so that's what I started with. So now when I want to assemble the book, I just go into my photos and actually I'm going to go into my sound first. So if you see here, I have uploaded all of my sound files. They are back here for myself reading the story and I've labeled them like CB12 would be the first part. Um, that re voice recorder only lets you do two minutes at a time. So you could either read it page by page or I did like two to three pages and then I made a file of it. So I have all these files for the voice recording. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of my sound files in here first. So those are gonna go down there on the audio. And here. This is a little bit of a longer book. It's a nonfiction book, but this just happens to be the one that I'm reading to my students this week. So, okay. So what you want to keep in mind is the way these layers work is one will be the first layer, two the second, three the third. So if you want to do like a fancy background behind your book, you want to pick that first. So I'm reading a book about butterflies today. So I went here to backgrounds and then I'm going to go ahead and drop it right here in the video. And then I want to stretch it all the way to the end of the book because I want this background to appear in the entire book. So I'm just going to stretch it and you could always change it if you wanted. Um, I just prefer the same one. Okay, so I'm going to just stretch it a little bit farther. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my pictures again. And I'm going to insert my pictures. So I'm going to start by finding the cover of my book, which is right here. So what you can do is you can double click on it and you can decide how big or how small you want it. Okay, you can also move it if you would like, but I'm just gonna put it right here in the front. Okay, and then I'm gonna listen to my sound. Caterpillar to Butterfly. And the author of this book is Laura Marsh. This is a nonfiction book, which means it's not fake and it has real photographs. Okay, so I want, I stopped it right there because that shows that I stopped at 12.19. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch this all the way to there because then my picture will last the entire time of my sound. So you're just going to go through each of the pages of the book and do the same thing. Now, I like to add my Bitmoji to it just to make it my own and so my students know that it's mine. So if you want to do that as well, you need the Bitmoji Chrome extension and you just right click on the picture and you save it just like you normally would. And then you upload the Bitmoji to your WeVideo account, which I have mine right here. And you're gonna do the plus sign and that's gonna add one more layer or track of the video. Okay, so this is gonna be the third layer. So remember, it goes by order. So the clouds will be first in the background. The book would be over the clouds. Now whatever I add in the third will be over the book. So if I wanted to, let's see, I think I did this one the last time. I want this because I say that I'm the one reading it, okay? So I'm gonna add it right there and I'm gonna double click on it. And then you can go ahead and adjust the size and then you can also place it where you wanted to put it. 
So let's say I want it right here. I would just put it right there. And again, you want to stretch it as long as you want it on there. Okay, now I'll show you what the preview of that that I just made looks like. Let me get full screen. It's going to go a little bit slow. Caterpillar to Butterfly. And the author of this book is Laura Marsh. This is a nonfiction book, which means it's... So one thing that you could also do is you could put like some facts on the side or maybe even some comprehension questions for the students if they were old enough to read those. So lots of different ideas that you could do. So if you wanted to do that, like let's say I wanted to add text also, I would just add one more track. And then WeVideo has these text options. So let's say I wanted to put a question on there. I'm just going to do plain. So I'm going to put it right here just to show you, maybe. Okay, so if I put my text right there, I would just double click on it again. And you want to click up here on the bubble. I typed my question there for my students. Oops, I would need to make it obviously a lot smaller and this is probably not the best one, like best format. But then you could put your question maybe over here or you could have a spot where if I moved it right over here, the text then after I said that I could have the text come up and then I could have the next page of the book come up so hopefully this will help you do some read alouds and add some interesting components to your read alouds for your students as always you can comment or message me for questions